What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Demetria McKinney from Tyler Perry's House of Pain, Saints and Sinners, the upcoming Bobby Christina biopic, and the upcoming album, Officially Yours. Looking forward to speaking with y'all right here on Madame Noir. to carry on my mom's legacy. The Bobby Chris biopic coming out in October, when I got the role, um, it was due to an audition. They asked me to audition for the role, and even though playing Miss Houston, Miss Houston has always been a dream for me, when the opportunity presented itself, I freaked out a little bit. My audition took three hours to complete. It was literally only like three pages and some singing, but it took me so long because I wanted to get it right. Um, playing the actual character and realizing that I wasn't actually playing Whitney, I was playing Nippy, and realizing the two distinct people that were embodied in this one person was kind of surreal. Having a real life person that everybody knew, loved, had an opinion about, had a, a, an emotional bond to, is something that um, you can't just step into and step out of. You literally have to put that skin on. You can't just put on the pants. You can't just put on the shirt. I can't just have on a microphone and whatever, whatever. I had to darken myself. I had to put on teeth. I had to start smoking. I had to do all of these different things in order to make sure that I really gave the essence of her. Can't be her by a long shot. But if I just gave the essence of her, I couldn't just step out of it and say, oh, I'm off now. Even some of these females, let me give you details. These red bottoms turn heads when I walk the best come correct that I ain't for you. Easy being received the way that it has been was what made February 7th so significant. That was the day that I was just so tired. I was like, Lord, did I make the right decision about this song? Is this the one? I'm tired of doing this and it not really paying off the way I want to. Nobody's really taking me seriously in my music, you know? And, um, my team, my, my team really stepped up. They pushed me, they made it pop, they made it happen. And the response has been incredible. And coming from the acting space, remember that time when everybody that was playing basketball and football was like, yo, I rap too. <laughs> you know, I, I, mm. nobody wanted to hear that. You know, they could have been super talented, but everybody was stuck on who they thought they knew. So I knew that when I came out with Officially Yours, it had to be my best best self put forward and I had to be comfortable with whatever everybody else was gonna have to say. Officially Yours will be out October 6th of this year. Yes, it's really happening. And actually there's a pre-order date of September 22nd where you can get some instant gratification tracks. I, I actually knew Candy a little bit before coming on the show. And even though we had our technical difficulty in the show, we understood that the show was that this is this. And one of the things that nobody can ever knock Candy on is a business. She be on it, she figure out how to make that thing pop and she keeps it right. Um, the other thing they can never say is that she don't know what she's doing with that pen. So Candy has written a couple of things for me, with me. Um, Unnecessary Trouble, we did that and that was great. Reality TV when it was happening was the most terrible wrench and oh my God, I'm not gonna make it into heavenness I had ever known. <laughs> I hated having to go film. I hated feeling how I did afterwards. But the fact that it got me out of the character zone, you know, everybody knowing me as Janine, everybody knowing me as Tracy or Shonda or whoever they've seen me as, you know, it got me out of that in just enough of a door to where the music came, which was what I was there for in the first place, and people are ready to accept it. So it may not have been good to me, but the way I handled it was. My relationships in general have not been affected in a negative way, which is great. But I think that had a lot to do with the fact that before I went on that show, I sat the two men in my life at that time down and we all talked about it. We all tried to clean our closet. Hey, could they come after this? Could they do this? Son, if you go to school and they talking about this, are you cool? You know, I've always been very communicative with my son and my partner at the time. Um, and so because we had that kind of foundation, that solidarity, it didn't affect that at all. I do, I do. Um, before we got together, he and I were best friends. He has been my best friend for years. And I think that is one of the things that helped us to get through everything we went through with the show and, and all the criticisms and the whatever, because we know each other. And um, I think that background is why we are still able to be really good friends today. Okay. No, I tried my best to let that show be that. And when I was off, be done with it because it wasn't a fun place and I, I make choices every day to be happy. 
he made me happy. My son made me happy. My dogs made me happy. The fact that I really own my home made me happy. <laughs> you know, I went into those happy places and he was and is one of them.